You're listening to the Full Core Press with your host, Drew Duncan. Don't you dare touch that dial. Tony L. Kikoy Ferguson may have quote of the year. Getting ready for a fight for the UFC this Saturday for the interim championship. (laughs) Tony Ferguson flat out during an interview said to his opponent, Kevin Lee, quote, You'd be better off taking your clothes off, pouring gasoline on your body, and trying to run through hell than to F with a guy like me. End quote. It doesn't get any manlier than that. I'm going to tell you that quote one more time. You'd be better off taking your clothes off, pouring gasoline on your body, and trying to run through hell than the F with a guy like me, end quote. Well, dude, uh, there you have it. <laughs> Tony El Kikoy. For those who don't know, El Kikoy, translated into English, is the monster. The villain, the bad guy, whatever you want to say, that's the equivalent. You know, I had Tony on this show a while back. And I remember Tony very vividly being ticked off that fighters were calling out this guy. Fighters were calling out that guy. Fighters were saying this guy's name. But they refused to call out Tony Ferguson. Now, the antithesis of that is I had Cub Swanson on the program not long after that. And I said, and Cub was upset that somebody had called him out. And when I asked him about that, he said, you know, we're just two different people. Some fighters take it as a sign of disrespect that their name gets said. Other fighters take it as a sign of disrespect that nobody wants a piece of them. Tony flat out was like, everybody's afraid of me, dude. Nobody wants a part of me. Nobody's ready. By the way, Tony, number two ranked in the world in his division. According to the UFC, he's number one. Man, I'm telling you what. That ought to be a hell of a fight come Saturday night. You know, when I start thinking about Tony and everything that he's accomplished, you're talking about a Midwest dude. You're talking about a guy who just doesn't play any noise. You know, the thing I love about Tony is he just doesn't pull any punches, man. And it's not that he doesn't respect anybody. It's just that he's confident. I mean, you should see, I posted the interview on my Facebook. You have got to see this. It's a little lengthy. But it's worth the entire watch. I mean, he was absolutely going in on Kevin Lee. His opponent, flat out. It's like, dude, you can wear all that flashy stuff all you want to. You can try and be Conor McGregor, but you're fake, bro. You see this right here? This is me. I mean, he's just he's got his T-shirt on, some stunner shades, and that's it. He's just being himself. Flat out was like, I couldn't fight anybody in a year because I had already ran through everybody. And Tony has proven himself not just as a knockout artist, but as a submission specialist and a guy who can go the distance. When you get into the octagon with Tony Ferguson, you'd better be ready for anything and everything. You know, in a world where... I should say in the MMA world 
where people have gotten used to that big knockout, that big right hand, that big left, that right cross, that upper hook, or that uppercut, pardon me, it's still too early. Tony is a guy that prides himself on being ready for any and all facets in the octagon. You know, the training, the regiment that some of these guys go through in order to be as successful as they are and compete at the highest level on a consistent basis and be as dominant as a guy like Tony or Conor McGregor or, you know, whoever you want to call out. Those are the guys that succeed because they understand that you have to have a full fight game in order to be able to truly compete. That's the deal about Tony. But is Tony Ferguson a guy that could carry the UFC? You know, the thing about it is, is, you know, he kept saying, want to be McGregor, want to be McGregor. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think you have to be a Conor McGregor in order to, for people to notice you. You know, there are a lot of guys that don't like talking to media. There's a lot of guys that hate doing interviews. And, you know, that doesn't really bother me. It never really has. I mean, I had Uriah Hall on this program one time, and he said, look, I don't hate you. I hate the media. I hate doing this. I should be asleep right now. I'm cutting weight. I'm miserable. You know, I get it. In order for your body to recover, you need rest. And instead, you're having to be all over the Internet, all over television. You got to do the Facebook Live stuff that they have you do. You got to do all these things that you don't really want to do. And, you know, I'm not really upset at some of those guys who feel that way. I'm really not. You want to talk to us, man. To me, you don't have to. For me, it's fun. I get to promote these guys. I get to promote myself a little bit. But the point I'm making is this. I love Tony Ferguson's direct approach to everything. He doesn't really want to be there. He's got to be there. All right, bro. You want a show? I'll give you your show. I'll tell you that it's better for you to try to run through the fires and flames of Hades than it is trying to mess with me. Does it get any more direct than that? Doesn't that tell you what he is truly ready for? I mean, the guy is basically viewing this as war. Hey, man, you know what I woke up this morning ready for? War. How do you deal with somebody who has that kind of mentality? Like Conor McGregor one time, you know that dude learned Portuguese just so he could tell somebody that they were going to die? It's all about getting in somebody's head. And Tony said that. He was like, dude, you've already lost, bro. I'm already in your head. Ain't that it? Think about it. If you were in high school and you were getting ready to fight somebody and they said the words to you, bro, you are better off trying to go through hell with gasoline on your back than it is trying to mess with a guy like me. How would you respond to that? Tell me there's not some sort of fear factor there. You really going to meet him out in the playground afterwards, man, or the parking lot, or wherever you did it in high school, at the park? No. And you are making a beeline to mama's house, bro. The guy who stands in front of him, that's the guy with fortitude. Some people take that challenge. Clearly, Kevin Lee is taking that challenge. You know what I love the most about the UFC? It's not the the buildup to the fight. It's the possibility of what a fight could be. Well, Drew, that's the buildup. No, it's not. The buildup is the interviews, the hype train. If you ask any promoter when they put a fight together, 
you know, like for instance, David Rickles, Bellator MMA, huge guy here locally, has started his own little uh, EFC. He said, you know, because I asked him, like, dude, how do you come up with these fights? He's like, man, I envisioned them in my head. I'm like, this, this is, yeah, this could be a great fight. That, to me, is what I'm talking about. What a fight could be. How you envision it in your head. Come on, man. When we were getting ready to watch the McGregor Mayweather fight, tell me you didn't have your own little vision in your mind of whoever you were rooting for of how it was going to go. A lot of people took to the internet to write down how they thought it was going to go. That was because they first envisioned that in their mind based off of what they knew about both fighters. See, to me, that's the best part. And then what's really awesome is when you see the fight, the way that it plays out in front of you, sometimes it's almost exactly how you envisioned it. Sometimes it's completely the opposite. Which is kind of it, right? That's what sports is. It's the emotional roller coaster. It can leave you bitter. It can leave you happy. Tony Ferguson has got quote of the year, and he is going in. Believe me when I tell you, when I say I think Tony will win tomorrow, I know that Tony will win tomorrow. And I hardly ever say the words, I know. Because I don't ever discount anybody, be it football, basketball, boxing, MMA. I always think, yeah, but as much as I believe this, I'm never, you know, you'll hear me say that a lot. I can't quite disqualify this aspect, though. Now, forget that. I've seen Tony fight too many times. I've had him on this show. A dude has always backed up everything he's ever said. He makes no bones about it. He's the man. Not some jock rider. I just love a guy who ain't all flashy. Because I don't mind Flash. I don't mind a Mayweather. I don't mind a McGregor. I don't mind that stuff. Muhammad Ali. But what guys like Ferguson, Ali, McGregor, and Mayweather all have in common, they back it up. You want people to notice you? Win fights. This is the Full Court Press. I am your host, Drew Duncan. You guys are checking me out live from the K-Sun Studios in Wichita, Kansas. I am on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all at DrewDuncan83. Don't forget, coming up next, it is our Facebook Live segment because it is Facebook Friday, so I'm live for the rest of the day, guys. There is plenty more to get to. We're going to be talking Tampa Bay and New England. We're going to be talking more NFL. We're going to be talking Michigan, Michigan State. We're going to be talking TCU. A lot to get to. Don't you dare touch that dial.